Hereford manager Josh Gowning, how frustrated were you with the result and the performance today? Um, yeah, I mean, the first goal probably epitomised our first 35 minutes, I would say. Um, yeah, disappointing. I think we just went long. I don't think we played much football first 35. I think that's 10 we started to get into the game. Um, got the ball down, played, um, we're a bit patient, and then obviously you get hit with a sucker punch just before half time, which we've got to defend better. So, yeah, we're very, very disappointed. What did Brandon say about the first goal? Did it move in the air? He knows he's got to do better, it is what it is. Um, he looked a bit in trouble as soon as it shot, to be honest. I don't know whether or not he just got his body position wrong or what, I don't know. But hey, those things happen, these things has been good for us this season, so, you know, we'll take that on the chin and we'll have to go again. And the second goal, they seem to be able to come on the, on the counter after you perhaps gambled players for Yeah, it's just too easy. You know, you, you probably take a foul on the halfway line, don't you? And then he goes down the line, you keep him down the line, we don't keep him down the line, and then he ends up scuffing a shot in the back of the net. So there was a lot of things leading up to that that we could have stopped. So that's the disappointing. The disappointing thing is we've stopped doing that. Um, and then all of a sudden, in a big game that you need to win, you, you end up doing that. So, um, yeah, disappointing. I suppose, you know... That, uh, Billy Heath will look at it and say, well, you know, game plan has worked to perfection for them today. Well, they haven't touched the ball, have they? For, for what, 80 minutes? So um, they've had two shots and they've scored both. Apart from that, they've not laid a glove on us. It's, it's, it's been, there's just been all this. It's probably the most one-sided 2-1 one you'll see. But you give stupid goals away like that, that, that that's what happens in the cost They slowed the game down, they're time-wasted, as they do. And you end up getting frustrated and, you know, you just want people to take a grip of it officials and, and speed things up he's told the ref, uh, told the um, goalkeeper three times that's the last time and he got on doing it so but at the end of the day that's not the reason we've lost the game we've lost the game because we give two poor goals away were you inventive enough inventive to get to get back well, in the match what else have we got in the squad so you know we, we, we changed to three at the back towards the end we scored from it um, and that's what we can that's what we've got in the squad so you know we've, we've spoken there you know we've got a points target and We'll hit that, I'm sure we will. Um, it's disappointing because you expect to win here. But what I would say is our form here of late has not been great. We are not. We don't. We seem to be a bit clunky in possession here. So we seem to be a bit flat here. So it's something we've got to address and turn it around because away from home, we seem to be a, kind of a bit more free flowing at the moment. I, I don't know what the reasons are for that. So we'll, we'll definitely dissect that and have a look at it. But no, I mean, we have plenty, plenty of possession. It's hard when you go a goal down, like you saw at the start of the season, when they just drop off and they get 10 men behind the ball, it's very hard to be inventive and break things down. So when you give teams a foothold in the game, they do that and it's, it's, it's going to be a difficult afternoon. How many wins do you feel you need? Is it just like 15 points from here on in? Is that sort of the figure that you're looking at? Yeah, a, a minimum. You know, a minimum that. I, I think, yeah, 15, 6, 17 probably. So yeah, we've got um, games that we've got to win, as simple as that. It's, it's a question you're getting on, you know, goal charts a little bit. Andre Wright came on in the, sec in the second half. How did you feel? He, what, what did he give to Hereford? Today? Yeah, he, he linked well. I think he, 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 he does good things. He's strong. He, he goes forward. He looks to run in behind. So he, he was a threat when he came on in, in the second half. And obviously we brought Lloyd on as well in the second half, which is pleasing to see him back. And it just gives us a bit of a spark, which is pleasing. Probably gives us a bit more experience on the pitch as well, which we need. So, but, you know, we've got We've got a lot of work to do. You know, we, we, we seem to be getting to a point where we're nearly there and then we just fall short. So, again, I swear, swear to the lads in there, that's got to be the last time we fall short or else we're not going to make where we want to be. Are you going to be relying then on the more experienced players in the crucial running? Because a, <coughs> a lot of times that happens, really, that the, the players with that knowledge and know-how come to the fore when it really matters. No, we've got a good squad. Obviously, Harry's come back in now. and We've got Ryan and, and, and we've got young lads that... I've got a lot of faith in, and that's the team is a young team, so you know we're gonna have to lean on them, you know, even more, and they've got to come of age quicker. I, I would say, obviously, we've got Lloydy and Vinny and, and players to come back into the, in, into the equation, which will help them, which will help them push on. But we're a small squad, and, and we've got to push together. It's as simple as that. We need everyone. Filed next week, a change of circumstances, uh, obviously quite. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sort of really good place to go in, in respect of the, the, the quality of the stadium. Uh, you shouldn't have too much worry about the pitch, I guess. Oh, I should hope not. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that'll be a good side. Obviously, Rowe's gone in there. Um, they play free fan football. You know, they're good to football inside, and we're going to have to match that. So, you know, you go into win today and you go into the far game looking like you want to take a point, then fair enough. But now, losing that game, we've got to go there and try and win. So, I mean, obviously we try and win every game, but it probably puts more emphasis on that game than, than well, because of that. Well, good luck next week. Thank you.